Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moon Moth Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here. Your continued love and support here on the channel. For those of you that would like to book a private reading with me, you can find my email down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings as well as other services with me. For those of you that would like to donate to the channel, you can use the super thanks button, which is located right underneath the video. It's a little heart with a dollar sign in it. Um, I also have PayPal, Cash App, and my Amazon wish list. For those of you that are wanting to send in a tarot or an oracle deck for me to use for our future pick a card readings. Um, thank you guys all so much for those of you that have already been sending in um, donations recently, as well as um, tarot and oracle decks. I truly appreciate you guys so much in all the ways that you do um, support my work here on the channel. Those of you that also leave such beautiful um, comments, um, liking the video, that also supports the channel. Um, and then those of you that take the time out of your day to send me an email and let me know how these readings are helping you. I truly appreciate each and every one of you um, for your support here. So today's pick a card reading, we are doing I was just kind of sitting here and feeling I was trying to like get tapped into <laughs> collective energy and the first thing that spirit was kind of bringing uh, to my attention was for those of you that uh, are in third party situations, okay, um, and it was more or less all of this, these feelings and these emotions of pain, heartache, um, feeling discouraged, disappointed, um, you know, for some of you going through feelings of rejection, abandonment, confusion, um, in those third party situations. So I think that's what we're going to focus on today is specifically for those of you that are, that are in the type of third party situations where you have someone who had that, you know, you've been interested in your love interest who is either in another relationship, married to someone else, in a relationship with someone else, or even those of you where this person has been kind of making you feel confused, you know, telling you one thing, doing the opposite, and kind of putting you in a place where they're making you feel like you're an option, you know, the whole going back and forth um, type of thing. So that was the the energies that I was kind of channeling as I was sitting here, um, just kind of thinking like, what kind of pick a card am I going to do today, <laughs> this morning? Um, so yeah, that was that was something that Spirit is wanting me to kind of maybe help those of you that are in that situation and feeling, you know, that you're kind of going on this emotional roller coaster with this person. Like, when are they going to figure out? what they're going to do and gave you and give you, I feel like some clear direction or answers as to whether or not, you know, you should be holding on to hope for this situation, or if it's more or less something that you should cut your losses with and let go of, you know, especially for those of you that have been having like an ongoing situation where, your connection with the person isn't really progressing. It's not really moving forward, you know, and it's leaving you in a place where you're also feeling stuck. Okay. So yeah, specifically for those of you in those, those type of third party, you know, situations, um, you know, sometimes it could be that this other person could be somebody who's kind of leading you on, stringing you along, um, you know, even making you feel like they're choosing you and then it ends up being like the complete opposite. Um, some of you might even be in situations where the person is being like really hot and cold back and forth, which I'm sure is pretty annoying, um, <laughs> to say the least. But that's what we're going to be focusing on today is those of you that are in third party situations we're going to be looking at what the person, your your love interest, what their feelings and intentions are towards you versus their feelings and intentions for the third party that's involved. Now, for the sake of, of clarity through this reading, 
Um, I am going to be referring to the other person that's watching, or I'm sorry, the other person that's involved. I'm going to be referring to them as the third party. However, technically, I do understand that some of you are the third party, okay? Especially if the person is in a relationship with someone else or married to someone else, you technically are the third party in that situation. But just to kind of keep it clear for the reading, I'm going to be pulling your energy first and then I will be asking spirit, you know, to let me know how they feel towards the other person and referring to them as uh, the third party. Okay, so we do have three crystals out for you guys to choose from today. We do have a lapis lazuli um, for pile one. For pile two, we have jade. And then for pile number three, we have a Dalmatian Jasper. If you already know which crystal you feel the most intuitively drawn to, you're more than welcome to skip ahead to the timestamp and go directly to your reading. But I am going to be adding in one of these cards to help you guys with choosing um, a pile. Okay, for those of you that need that extra little bit of help. So let's see here. Let's pull something for, I'm going to start with pile one. So pile number one, spirit, third party situations. Okay, so we have wide open and I will show, give you guys a closer look in just a moment. Let's pull something for pile two with the jade. We're going to take this one here in tension and pile number three. Pile number three with the Dalmatian Jasper. I'm going to take this top one, whatever this is. We have Magic Stream. Okay. So pile one, we have card number 42, wide open. And that is with this Lapis Lazuli. Wide open for pile number one. Pile number two, we have intention, and that is with this jade. For pile number two, and then pile number three, card number 18, the magic stream, and that is going to be with this Dalmatian Jasper. Okay, so those are the choices for today. Um, if you do find that this reading doesn't really resonate for you, I do have, if you go into the pick a card playlist, I do have plenty of other third party readings. Okay, for you to, if you feel maybe this one doesn't quite resonate for you. I'm also, you know, available for private readings if you want me to look into your specific third party situation. Um, I'm always taking bookings for reading, so you could just find my email in the description box. So pile one, we have white open and the lapis lazuli. Pile two, we have jade and intention. And then pile number three, we have Dalmatian Jasper and the magic stream. Timestamps will be down below. Pause the video if you need a little bit more time, and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, pile one. So those of you that resonated with this wide open card number 42. I'm already kind of intuitively feeling that the person that you're dealing with is really trying to focus on, I feel like, a plan, a strategy about their choices. Um, I feel like this person is really trying to connect in with their intuition at this time. Um, try to look for any type of sign, I feel like, of, of trusting and knowing that they're making the right decisions, the right choices with which direction to go in, whether that is with you, you know, or the, the other person that is involved um, in this situation. 
So I want to look at your tarot. And we're going to look, um, as I said in the intro, we're going to be looking at what this person's feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll look at what this person's feelings and intentions are towards the other person, which we are going to be calling the third party. Okay. So let's see. Pile number one. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? What are their feelings and intentions towards you? Okay, so there <laughs> we have the two of wands, which is kind of the energy that I was getting as I was looking at this card. Two of wands energy, which is about making choices. It's about being at a crossroads, trying to choose a path. Um, and here in this two of wands card, we have this um, person who is holding, looks like a little, like a little globe. Um, so yes, your person is definitely in a place where they're trying to make a decision here. Okay. Let's see. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? Okay, so we also have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords. We also have the Hanged Man. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? We have the world. What are their feelings and intentions? And then we also have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we do have the star. So the star is about, and then the Knight of Cups is right underneath that. So I do feel like this person does have romantic feelings towards you. Okay. Um, given that we are doing a third party reading, okay, the person that you're involved or you're uh, connected to, they could be somebody, like I said in the beginning, who is married to another person, in a relationship with another person, or involved in some regard with someone else okay so being that we have the star energy here and the knight of cups and the king of wands is right underneath that um i do feel like this person is someone who is very attracted to you um very much has romantic feelings towards you um with the star energy here this is about having trust it's about having faith um believing in something trying to remain optimistic okay i feel like with the knight of cups energy here this person is trying to lead from their heart space um trying to bring forth some type of offer towards you so the energy that i'm seeing here is more or less that this person is in a place where they're trying to make the choice Okay, and I'm seeing the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Swords here. So being that this person could be involved with somebody else, I feel I'm seeing the Nine of Pentacles here, which is about being single. Okay, um, Six of Swords here is about moving on. So this makes me feel, because I'm also seeing the world energy here, that this person is thinking about their choice about, I would say, leaving, detaching, moving on from the other person. Um, we do have the Knight of Pentacles energy here as well, which is this person, I feel like not rushing towards making like any sudden decisions. I feel like this person already intuitively feels that they're wanting to open themselves up to this connection with you. Um, 
But the Knight of Pentacles energy also moves very slowly. This is about taking baby steps um, towards something. Um, and I feel like the reason why is because with the hangman energy here, this is indecision. Okay, indecision over their choice. It could be making the right choice, you know, allowing their heart and their intuition to kind of guide them and lead the way. So like I said, what I was getting intuitively from that card is she looks like she's standing at the top of like that little mountain and she's got her arms wide, you know, open and there's a little star way up at the top of the card and it almost looks like she's trying to connect in with that star for guidance. And that's kind of what we're seeing here is the star energy with the Knight of Cups and the King of Wands. So it does feel like this person is, is you know, wanting to have trust and faith that if they follow they, their heart here, um, which is, I feel like, guiding them towards you, that they are making the right choice, okay? That they're making the right decision by doing that. But like I said, I don't really feel like this person is trying to, like, hurry up and do something, um impulsively like they're really trying to take their time to think about whether or not is the right choice you know and especially if you're dealing with somebody who's married to someone else that's a big life decision you know to get divorced or even if they've been in a relationship with someone for a long time that change can be scary okay so I definitely feel like this person is you know Coming towards you, I feel like it's something that's definitely on their mind. Like I said, I definitely feel like this person has feelings towards you. Some of you, this person could be like falling in love with you or in love with you. Okay. Very attracted to you. Very much in this energy of wanting to pursue or, you know, pursue you here. Enough with the world energy here to be making, you know, some, um, changes you know to to what their their situation is right now the world is about endings um and where there is an ending this allows for a new beginning so you know there could be a choice here about being single now for those of you that are this is where this can get a little tricky some of you could actually be in a relationship with this person or even married to this person and if that is the case, okay, your message is a little bit different, okay? Because in some regard, it could be that your person is, I feel like questioning if they should end things with you enough to pursue the other relate a connection, a new connection with somebody else, okay? So that's where this can get a little bit different. But I feel like for the most part, those of you that are watching this reading today, it's it's more the, the first way that I said, um, where you are, you know, on the outside waiting for them to make a choice about whether or not they're going to choose you or this other person that they're already involved with, married to, in a relationship with, you know, something uh, to that regard. Okay. So... We're going to put those here. I'm going to pull what else here? Let's pull one of these. Okay, and then we'll start pulling some more Oracle cards here. So pile number one, what are their feelings and intentions towards you? What are their feelings and intentions? We have anxiety. Okay. So definitely feel like the anxiety is coming from making some type of choice or decision. I do want to clarify this just a little bit. So why is your person having anxiety? What do they have anxiety over? The Four of Swords. Let's get a little bit more. What do they have the anxiety over? The Ten of Wands and the Emperor. Okay. 
So I feel like the anxiety is overtaking uh, decisive action here. Okay. I feel like it could be a little bit of a overwhelming decision here. This person is really taking some time to try to calm their mind so that they feel comfortable, they feel confident in what they're doing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's pull some more Oracle cards. Let's see. So what are their feelings and intentions towards you, pile number one? What are their feelings and intentions towards you? Okay, so we have inattentive and it says easily distracted by internal and external issues, wandering eyes, a backup plan, moving on to the next best thing. Okay. Distracted by internal and external issues, wandering eyes, a backup plan. Moving on to the next best thing. Let's see what else. And some of you might feel like that, you know, feel like this person is making you kind of like their backup plan. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? We have stirs the pot and it says allows the opinions of others to dictate how they feel and what they want to do, dependent on others, needs outside gratification and approval. So it's almost like this person doesn't trust themselves and their decisions. So again, feeling anxious about it instead of, you know, really following their heart here. Let's see. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? We have flaming hot and it says ravenous desires exposed, feels triggered due to what's being asked, um, no boundaries and feeling unsafe and manipulates. Okay, I'm going to cover this up a little bit, but... I do feel like this person is someone who is, like I said, very attracted to you. Okay. They may be feeling a little bit triggered, especially if you are asking them, you know, like what's going on here? What, what decision are you making? Because, you know, if the other per, if this person is still connected with, you know, the other person that they're married to or in a relationship with dealing with, you know, essentially they are someone who's going back and forth. And like I said in the beginning, this is kind of put you, putting you in that place where you are on the receiving end of their confusion or indecision, you know. And so for many of you, it kind of might feel like that situation where this person is getting their cake or having their cake and eating it too, you know being able to have some part of you without having to commit. And so, you know, it may feel for you very situationship, very friends with benefits, very much like this person isn't fully investing their time and energy into you. And I feel like, you know, for some of you, you may, I know some of you really stand up for yourself, um, which I'm so proud of you when you do that. Um, that you really stand up for yourself and you, you know, ask them straight out, like, hey, what are we doing? What are you doing? You know, um, because you can't very well be doing this whole, you know, inconsistent 
keeping you guessing and holding on and waiting and all of that kind of stuff. So I kind of have a feeling that for some of you, when you do ask them questions, that they get very triggered um, and they may not know how to, I feel like, answer you. Okay. Um, let's get one more. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? We have solitary and it says prefers to be alone and in one's thoughts, an individualist, deep contemplation without interference from others and isolation. So with solitary here, I feel like this person right now feels like They don't want to have the influence of anybody, okay? And I feel like that's you included in that. They don't want to have the influence of anybody right now because even here in this uh, card here, she's by herself, um, you know, connecting with that star up there. So it kind of makes me feel like this person right now Feels like I want to be able to make this decision by myself without everyone else kind of chiming in and telling me I should do this. You need to do this. You need to do that. You should listen to this where they feel like they need to just listen for themselves because I, like I said, I do feel like this person has a hard time just trusting their own inner voice, their own inner guidance and connecting in with their heart space and you know, making a decision that is balanced from both logic and, you know, where their intuition is kind of guiding them here. Okay. Um, hmm. At the bottom of the deck, and this, of course, won't resonate for all of you, but I'm seeing stashing here. Okay. And it says... It says, makes conscious decision to keep partner away from their inner circle, hesitates in introducing partner to family or friends. Okay, now some of you might be dealing with that where this person is not introducing you, you know, to certain people. Um, some of you I know, however, you know, they do actually, um, you know, have introduced you to parents introduce you to their friends but for some of you you might be dealing with that where a person just kind of doesn't involve you in their personal life and they kind of just keep you shut out you know and also with inattentive being here it kind of makes me feel like for some of you that like this person is not they haven't fully made you feel like they're super invested here you know they might be staying quiet and not really telling you what their plan is, what they're going to do here. Okay, so let's pull. Hmm. I think we're going to pull. Hmm, one more Oracle deck and then we're going to switch over to what their feeling and intentions are towards the other person. Um, I do feel because we do have the two of wands here and the hangman that this person's decision is kind of stuck right now. Okay. Um, like I said, I do feel like this person does have feelings towards you. <clears throat> they are attracted to you. Um, Some of you, I feel that this person could even be contemplating just being single and just staying single, especially if they're going to be, say, getting out of the other connection, that they could be deciding, do I want to go from that connection into this connection with pile number one, or is it smarter for me to leave the other person and just be single? 
okay? So I'm also getting that energy here as well. Is it better to just stay single? So definitely feels the energy of <clears throat> indecision here, okay, over what they're going to do. So if they're feeling this way, they very well cannot give you a solid answer as to what they're doing because they haven't even figured it out yet, okay? But I will tell you that it's kind of in between pursuing you and... Yeah, I feel like pursuing you, ending things with the other person, or ending things with the other person and just being single and not, um, you know, getting involved right away into a relationship with you, okay? So let's see, what are their feelings and intentions towards you, pile number one? Yeah, we've got the clock here. A second okay all right so we've got romantic feelings here romance and feelings we have regrets and mistakes and we also have shame here guilty conscious and also remorse okay so of course this guilt or regret could be something that they feel towards you or it could even be because of the whole third party dynamic here Okay, so I'll leave that for you because this is a general reading, you know, to apply it to how you feel it goes in your situation. If you don't feel like it resonates, don't take that part of the message. Um, we also have hypnotized here and it says only you, fixated and attached. Okay, so for some of you, this person, like I said earlier, is very drawn to you. Okay, very, very drawn to you. Um, and then we also have fingers crossed here and it says hoping, manifesting and expecting. And that's what I'm kind of feeling is going on with that, uh, star energy. Uh, we have also got the clock here. It says needing time, um, cycles and takes time, time to heal and progressing. So before anything's progresses I feel like any further you know for some of you it could be that there's a lot of feelings and emotions that they have to deal with here you know they could be feeling did I make a mistake by getting involved with a third party situation two people um, they could be feeling guilty for you know what they've done to you how they treated you the other person that's involved okay um it's a lot to think about, you know, a lot to process, a lot to, a lot to work through. Hmm. I'm also noticing with this card here too, this person has handcuffs on, you know, so they might even have that feeling of being stuck in a situation with, you know, the other person here. Okay. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at what their feelings and intentions are towards the other person. Okay, so let's get this cleared away really quick. And we'll see. what their feelings and intentions are towards we're calling the third party. Mm, I think I'm going to move this out of the way. We'll put your little crystal here. And we'll start with this. What are their feelings and intentions towards the third party, the other person involved in this third party situation? What are their feelings and intentions towards the other person involved, the third party in decision, okay? So again, not sure whether or not they want to say, stay with the person, leave the person, choose them, choose you, 
we've got indecision here. All right, let's pull the tarot. And I feel like because this is also number eight, the number eight is the strength card in the tarot. Okay, so maybe this is about having the confidence, the courage to be able to make this difficult decision, whatever it might be. All right, pile one. How are their feelings and intentions towards the other person? There it is. Okay. <laughs> There's strength. Okay. Number eight. What are their feelings and intentions towards the other person? We've got the high priestess and the two of cups. What are their feelings and intentions? The Ten of Cups. Some of you, this person could have family with this person. Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, the Devil. Okay. Now, some of you, what I'm getting here... You know, I'm not going to lie. I do feel like this, your person does love this person. Okay. Um, they may have family with this person. Um, there may be family's influence here. There may be some emotional manipulation here. Now, either coming from the other person or it might even be family that is trying to control um, your person's decision about staying with them. Okay. Um, what's under the deck? The Ten of Wands and Justice and the Ace of Cups. Wow. With Six of Swords. Okay. Now for some of you, your person might feel stuck with this person. Okay. I feel like there is a part of your person that, like I said, does love them. They may have a family with them. They may have talked about having a family, you know, getting married, especially if they're not married. Um, there could be some family influence here or even manipulation here, okay? That is saying that these two people need to get married or they need to move forward. Um, like I said, it could be family's influence here. It could be the other person, the partner, who is emotionally manipulating this person. Um, I'm feeling that there might be a lot of pressure here. Okay, now some of you, this other connection with this person, and it may not be for all of you, but for some of you, there could be a lot of karmic energy that's here. Um, there could be a lot of toxicity in this relationship that won't be for all of you. But there could be that energy where this person might feel like really drained, tired, exhausted. They may have gone through a lot with this person. Um... And I feel like with the Six of Swords energy here, this is about moving on, moving away from this person. The Ace of Cups would be pursuing new love, a new beginning in love. So I do feel, again, this person feels very torn about what decision to make. Um, I feel like your person is feeling really mixed up inside about what they're going to do here. About whether or not that is leaving this person, staying with this person, getting married to this person. Again, I feel like this person struggles with just kind of listening to their own inner voice and doing what they want to do versus what everybody else says they need to do. And I feel like that's where there's a big issue here. 
okay? Like I said, I don't doubt that your person loves this person. I feel like they might see this person as, you know, as their soulmate and or the person that they're meant to be with. But that also might be, you know, a lot of manipulation here too. Where family could be, like I said, involved. Or the other person... Um, Hmm. Okay. I'm going to put these over here. Um, I'm actually feeling I want to pull one of these. One of their feelings and intentions towards the other person, the third party. We have come together here. With again a number eight here. Eight, eight, eight. I feel like this is this is pretty challenging here because I also feel like there is a part of your person that feels like Maybe I am meant to be with this person. You know, maybe I am meant to this. Maybe this is where I'm meant to be. Maybe this is my fate, you know, this is where I'm supposed to be. So I can see where this person feels very mixed up here, very torn. Okay. Okay. You know, and if they're having this feeling, I feel like with this other person over here, there could be fears about leaving this person. Um, just feeling almost like coming to this place of acceptance, like maybe this is the person I'm just supposed to be with, you know. Hmm. Okay. Let's pull some other. We have persuasive and it says uses other people to persuade partner to forgive them and to return does not face the music, but makes others do their dirty work. Persuasive. So it could be the person that they're dealing with that is persuasive towards them, or it could even be that your person is like that. Okay. Persuading the partner to forgive them. So this makes me feel because if your person is in a third party, they're going between you and someone else. So it kind of makes me feel like they might tell this other person, oh, yeah, we're going to, I'm leaving you. I'm going to go to this other person, which is you. And then this person might say, hey, no, come back over here. And then they go back or they, or they, you know, spend some time with you. And then they kind of get, it almost feels like they get sucked right back in over here with this other person here. And they might tell this person with this persuasive energy here, you know what? No, I'm done with pile number one. I'm choosing you. I'm going to be with you. And that's where this whole, like I said, this whole have your cake and eat it too type of thing. But it does, however, kind of make me feel that This person just kind of feels like maybe this is the person they're supposed to be with and then just accept it, you know, and, and I don't, I don't know. I don't want to necessarily say that they're being forced to because the two of cups is here. You know, the two of cups is about a bond between two people, a commitment, a marriage, um, love, you know, um, Let's see what else. What are their feelings and intentions towards 
this other person. We have lazy. And it says, does not put an effort into career goals or life in general. Long-term goals are non-existent. Li lives one day at a time and uses other people's resources. Hmm. So maybe there is some complacency here within this connection. What are their feelings and intentions? That's a lot. Okay, so we have two-faced. And it says, pretends in order to lead others on. Untrustworthy, insincere, playing a game with others' emotions, stringing others along. That includes you, pile one. That includes you. Maybe your person is the one who is being manip I mean, manipulating both you and this person, you know? Um, we've got strings attached here, and it says accepts relationships with stipulations, makes other sign a contract or follows their rules, dictates others' actions or mannerisms. Um, and then we have trust issues here accusatory does not trust others we've got trust issues here maybe between these two people keeps others at arm's length starts arguments with little provocation rude and condescending okay what is going on here pretends in order to lead others on try untrustworthy insincere playing a game with others emotions and stringing others along well okay okay so we have fresh start here it says chance beginnings and a new direction and then we also have silence and no contact so maybe like if they've started over again, I would say with this person and trying to renew their connection with this person, maybe that means this person has gone no contact with you. Kind of does feel like this person is kind of playing this whole back and forth game, you know. What are their feelings and intentions with this third party? Other person. We have rejection, decline, turning down, and dismissal here. It's cutting out, separation. We have key on a ring here. It says many options, unconventional, one night stand, or a string along. And then we also have holding on here, hung up, clinging, and obsessing. So they might even be leading this person on too, like into thinking... Let's try this again. And then, and it's, I feel like it's because this person is torn between two people. Or they try to make a go of this situation with this person again. And I feel like it's because there's an attachment here. The devil energy could be codependency, attachment, unhealthy attachment or obsession with the person. They could have fears of leaving this person. Still hung up on this person. It almost kind of feels like this person is... Like I said, it kind of makes me feel like a person who's having their cake and eating it too. Like there's uncertainty on both sides. manipulation on both sides with you and also with this person. Hmm. 
you know, it kind of makes me feel like this person goes back and forth between making you feel rejected, this other person feeling rejected. I mean, this person too, the other person that's involved here could have rejected them, mean your person, gone no contact with them, cut things off with them. And then this person could have said, okay, well, I'm going to go be with pile number one. And then as soon as this person comes back in, they pull away from you and then go back to this person. You know, that's kind of the dynamic here, like messy, messy situation here in this pile. Just a whole back and forth thing here. So what I feel like I want to do is I want to ask spirit here, what is your advice on this connection? Because really, you know, you have to also set boundaries with this person. You know, you can't keep letting them come in and out whenever they feel like it, unless they've got their, you know, what together. Because this is leading to, I feel like, an, a lot of unnecessary... Um, heartache for you here especially if you're dealing with this kind of dynamic with this person so yeah I, I feel like I want to ask spirit here what is your advice on this connection you know what is your advice on this connection in this third party situation what is your advice here the Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers, what is your advice here? We have the Fool, and Justice, the Fool, Justice, the Ace of Pentacles, Okay, so I do feel like Spirit is saying here that there is an opportunity here for you guys to connect with each other, okay? But I, I feel like you need to really be smart about this, okay? Because with justice here, justice is about fairness. It's about balance. It's about, you know, acting from a place of integrity. So until the person that you're connected with actually does that and makes the choice, you know, I don't know. This is this is this is some messy stuff here. <laughs> Hold on a second. What is your advice? Where did that one go? I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles being here, you know, this is about an opportunity for a new beginning with the lovers. Could be very well be about commitment. The fool is about taking a, a leap of faith. Look at that. We've got commitment here. It says, you are ready to build a strong foundation and put down roots. There is an energy of stability and being clear on what you want. Ensure that both parties are free of commitment fears and move forward with clear intention and communication. It is a beautiful time to work together towards a happy future. Commitment to yourself and the relationship will bring lovely rewards. So like I said, I don't doubt this person has these feelings towards you, but they also have to make a decision that is fair for both you, themselves. Um, I feel like Spirit's saying that there will be another opportunity for this connection again. Of course, yes, it is going to take a leap of faith for this person to just, instead of being at a place of indecision and attachment and going back and forth, they do. They do need that time and space alone to just think without the influence of other people 
like I said, you included, okay, <laughs> you included, they need to just kind of find that answer with inside of themselves, okay? Remember with the justice card being here that the connection is something that requires balance on both sides, okay? And if they're not treating you fairly, if they're not, you know, um, treating you the way that you, you deserve to be treated and, and not being clear, don't be afraid of setting boundaries with this person, okay? Don't be afraid of saying no until they make their decision clear and you allow them back into your life without knowing whether or not they are completely done, you know, with, with the whole back and forth kind of thing, okay? All right, so I'm going to leave this here for you, pile number one. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, hey, pile two. So those of you that resonate with this card here, Intention and the Jade, this is going to be a reading today. So we're going to find out, for those of you that are in third-party situations, what is the person's feelings and intentions towards you versus uh, the third party? Okay, and then we'll also be getting some guidance at the end for you. You know, what is it best for you to do um, in this situation? So let's pull one of these here. So what are their feelings and intentions towards you? Pile two. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? We have the door to spirit okay let's pull some tarot i'm almost kind of getting this feeling that this person is wanting another chance with you okay some of you might be in that situation where this person is wanting to open that door to your connection and really focus here. Let's see. What are their feelings and intentions towards you, Pile 2? Yeah, we've got Four of Swords here. And the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel for some of you, this person and you may be no contact, little to no contact, or... Maybe this person hadn't been taking action towards you, but I feel like it's been really reflecting upon uh, their feelings here. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? We have the Five of Swords. We have the Tower. We have the King of Swords. And the Two of Swords. Now, some of you might have had like your last conversation with this person may have been something that was, I feel like for some of you, a bad argument here. Okay. Like a, like a bad ending saying hurtful things to each other and then just kind of cutting things off with no contact. And I feel like during this time, this does feel like there's separation here or a breakup or this person having, or you cutting this things off with this person. Um, there could have been a person's actions or words on either side that may have hurt each other. Okay. And Someone could be feeling betrayed. That could be you. It could be them. But I feel like this person does have feelings towards you. Okay. With the Queen of Cups energy here. And I feel like this person has tried to kind of like detach themselves from their feelings. But as they've been spending time alone, I feel like there's this very clear realization that they do have feelings towards you. But I also feel like this person feels indecisive about what to do in this situation. Okay. Now, underneath the deck, we do have, what is this? The Seven of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups, and the Four of Cups. 
what is this? The Eight of Wands and the Four of Wands. And the King of Cups is here too. Okay, so I feel like with the Seven of Cups energy here, this person is doing a lot of daydreaming about you, a lot of fantasizing, a lot of, you know, thinking about what their options are. There are still feelings here. This person could be trying to consider whether or not to come forward um, to confess feelings to you, to revisit your connection is kind of what I'm feeling here. Revisiting, re reconciliation here. Um, someone has chosen to walk away here. They may have made, this person may have made you feel rejected or it could be the opposite way in which you walked away and you made them feel rejected. Okay. But there's still feelings that are here. And so I feel like this person is contemplating whether or not to message you, to contact you, even though I feel like this person is feeling energetically this pull towards you. Okay. They're energetically feeling this pull towards reconciliation, reunion with you because it's what's in their heart space. Okay. So I feel like this person feels very strongly connected to you emotionally. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting here. They may also kind of look at this situation between you and them as some type of missed opportunity. Okay. Thinking about their choices here, what their options are is kind of where your person is at. Okay. All right. So, um, what do I want to do? Let's pull some Oracle here. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? I'm feeling this person wants to reconcile here, wants another chance, wants another opportunity, wants to message and communicate with you about the truth of what is in their heart here but feeling stuck and indecisive, you know, because especially if you guys have had like a fight, an argument, this huge tower moment where things just kind of abruptly ended or this person just kind of cut you off. It's kind of like, even with that, this person is having this realization about their feelings, you know, and about the choice that they've made. What are their feelings and intentions towards you, pile number two? We've got short and sweet. It says a brief love affair. Can't see. It says karmic connection with life lessons enhances understanding of wants and needs moving forward with life. So some of you, it could have been that your connection was very brief. Um... Some of you could have been karmic, okay? It could be that this is a karmic connection. Or, you know, they could be involved with a karmic partner there, the other person. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? It says, sick in love, unable to concentrate, sleep or eat or function in everyday activity and consumed by despair. So it definitely makes me feel like this person is lovesick. Okay, we do have, like I said, the King of Cups energy here, which I don't doubt this person has very strong feelings towards you. Okay, as much as this person tries to like cut them off, cut them out, push them away, reject them. It's like, it's making them sick. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it is. Yeah. This is can't sleep, can't eat, can't function, consumed by despair. Okay. Let's see. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? We have benching. It says likes someone enough to keep spending time with them, but not enough to commit. Ask others out when it's convenient. So the benching here is almost like this person is keeping you on hold, you know? 
as an option, putting it on ice, you know, preserving it. Um, let's see. What are their feelings and intentions? Did something flip over? Yep. We've got going down. What does this say? Makes others feel they can't be successful without them. Codependent financially. Makes others feel they can't do or be better. Makes others feel they can't be successful without them. Now, I feel like this won't be the case for all of you with this going down here. Mm. That almost kind of sounds to me like a manipulation tactic, you know, and it could be that this person does it to you. I mean, it could be something you tell them. I don't know. <laughs> I, it could be, very well be something that you say to them like, hey, you know what? I treat you better. What are you doing? I mean, I don't know. This could be kind of going back and forth here where this person is, you know, making you feel that way. Like you won't be, I don't know, desirable unless you're with them or, you know, it's, it's almost feels like to me, like the person is, there could be a little bit of some mind games here. Or, you know, maybe it's, it's, it's where they kind of feel they're being manipulated, maybe even on the other side here, you know, where the other person is telling them, because there is a, there is a chain here in this picture. There's a chain makes others feel that they can't be successful without them. It's almost like. Maybe it, it this person kind of intends to keep you hooked to them, you know, because they don't want to lose you. So they keep you attached, you know. They keep you in a place where they know that they have you. They know that they have access to you. Making you, maybe they don't say it to you, but kind of doing something with their pattern of behavior that makes you feel like, I've got you. You're not going anywhere, you know? And I feel like that's especially the case with, which makes it very frustrating because you may like, okay, well, this person's talking to me again. That must mean they must want to be with me. And then it's like the same whole game again, you know, where like they have you where they want you. They have these feelings, but yet they're not making that choice to let go of the other person, but benching you. And it's kind of like, like I said, keeping you the connection on ice, preserving it. And it, it almost kind of makes me feel like this person knows that they can have you whenever they want because you'll take them back. That's what this card makes me feel makes others feel they can't be successful without them, you know? So it almost makes, like, this person makes you feel like you need them. You'll keep taking them back. Even if they do whatever to you, right? That all they have to do is come right back and you'll let them back in. And that might be the case for some of you. And they know that they can do that because they got you hooked. You know, even if they go no contact and then the minute that they message you. And I feel like it's because you probably do love them. You probably do care about them and you want to have something with them. But it almost kind of makes me feel like this person's intention here with this. Is like keeping you hooked to them, keeping you attached because that way. Because I feel like they fear losing you. They want to know that they have you. Even though that they haven't made that choice to commit to you fully, they want to know that you're there. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting from this. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, okay, so underneath the deck, I'm trying to see this close. I forgot to get my glasses. Um, it's, ooh, I can't read that. It says, follows the crowd to fit in, breaks when placed under pressure, does not stand up to authority, gives in too easily, and weak-minded. Follows the crowd to fit in. Breaks when placed under pressure. This kind of makes me feel like a person who's telling you what you want to hear in that moment. Maybe they're also somebody who's not strong enough to make like their own decisions, you know? This kind of makes me feel that you're dealing with somebody who's kind of not empowered enough to make their own choices, their own decisions, and do what they want, you know? Does not stand up to authority. And that could really be anybody. It could be their family. It could be maybe the other person that they're dealing with. Weak-minded. Hmm. Okay, let's pull some more here. They might also feel that you are the person who is weak-minded as well, you know? Especially if you're easy to give into what they say, you're going to follow. You're going to follow what they say here. Um... What are their feelings and intentions towards you? Pile number two. Feelings and intentions towards you. Follows. But this more or less makes me feel more so that it's an energy external to them. Like this person has almost like this disempowered, it almost feels like disempowered masculine energy, regardless of their gender. Disempowered masculine energy where they cannot just stand up for themselves and just do something, you know? Okay, so we've got rejection here, declining, turning down, and dismissing. And that's kind of the energy that we're seeing here is that maybe for somebody this person has rejected you, you know? Maybe they have. And then I'm seeing boundaries here. Boundaries and hurt. Avoiding conversation with you. Not dealing with it and still upset. So like I said, some of you may have had a fight, an argument. Uh, not so nice things that were said. We have the unexpected here. Troubles, upheaval. Okay, something shocking. We also have sidetracked here. Change, delays, and also distracted. So they could have had something else kind of unexpectedly happen in their life where their energy got distracted away from you and focused elsewhere. We also have cut down here, cutting out separation, stop the pattern, and also says silent treatment. So there might, like I said, I'm getting separation, no contact here. There is rejection here. It says not today. So they could even be avoiding talking to you. Um... I'm going to get a little bit more. Yeah, I'm seeing heartbreak and shattered. That's like a breakup. We've got silence, no contact. And then we have new love with renewed hope. This makes me feel like this person has cut things off with you. They could be pursuing new love. That's what they're sidetracked with is someone else. Whether that is a completely new love interest um, or they went back to third party and cut things off with you. And I'm getting that some of you may have even got upset with this person with this sheeple energy here you may have gotten really upset with this person and told them hey you need to decide what you're going to do and 
not being able to kind of stand up and make that decision, you know, it makes me feel like as soon as things get complicated, this person just pulls away and runs from escaping the decision that they needed to make, that they just decide to just kind of like cut things off, go no contact and focus on, oh, I'm going to go back over here. Okay, so now we're going to look at what their feelings and intentions are towards the other person who we're calling uh, the third party. And then after that, we'll get some advice for you. Let's see. I think I'm going to pull new cards for, we'll save your crystal here. We'll save new, or make new cards for the third party. Okay. So yeah, maybe cutting things off with you and then reconciling with the other person. So how is your person, what are their feelings and intentions towards the other person involved, the third party? We have action here. Okay. What are their feelings and intentions towards the other person? We have the spirit of place. Yeah, so this makes me feel like this person is present here present here with this person pursuing pursuing here I'm seeing how one of the horses looks like it's kind of following or chasing the other horse What are their feelings and intentions towards the other person? We've got the Queen of Cups. Temperance. The Lovers. Hmm. Two of Wands. The Hanged Man. And the Tower. I'm seeing the Five of Cups at the bottom with the Justice card. Five of Cups and the Justice card. This really makes me feel like your person really loves this person over here. They may have had some type of change of perspective towards this person. And I feel like trying to almost like giving in to their feelings, their emotions for this other person, trying to restore harmony, balance, trying to have more patience for this connection. Um, with the five of cups energy here, I do feel like this person may have felt some guilt or even regret, you know, for some of you, it could be that this third party even knows about you, you know. Or they could have told that the third party. Um, but I feel like your person is trying to make things right with this person. Trying to restore balance. Trying to restore harmony here in this connection. Trying to stay focused and present here. Okay. So... 
Let's see. We've got, what does this say? Bump, bump, bump. It says bumps. Where are my glasses? I can't deal right now. <laughs> I can't even see. Hold on a second. Okay, so I had to put them on. Okay, so bump, bump, bump. It says bumps into X frequently due to work or family obligations, kids or family issues, visualizes and fantasizes about reunion with the X. That's look, that looks like what this person is doing over here is they're trying to reunite with this person. Okay. Okay, what else do we have? Masking here. And it says withholding secrets, emotionally unavailable, holding back emotions, evasive, closed off, does not disclose their past. So they might not even, for some of you, <coughs> might not even be telling this person about their interaction with you as they're being present here, right? Also masking feelings that they have towards you with this person and acting like they're all in here. Okay. This two of wands and the hangman still makes me feel like this person still feels that even though they're trying to be present and focus here on fixing this, harmonizing this, balancing this, because maybe for some of you, this person has obligations to them. They still think about you. Okay. Let's see. What are their feelings and intentions? towards this other person, the third party. We have stashing here and it says makes conscious decision to keep partner away from their inner circle, hesitates in introducing partner to family or friends. So it could be that they're keeping whatever is happening over here with this person. Maybe they're not letting a lot of people know. Maybe they're keeping it away from you, not telling you what's going on, trying to stay private with. Let's see what else. We have benching here. I'm not going to take that one. It says like someone enough to keep spending time with them, but not enough to commit. Ask others out when it's convenient. Hmm. Let's get one more. We've got never after. Regrets. Ooh. Regrets marrying the person they are with. Should have trusted their instincts. Living in regret and wants to leave but has difficulty. So again, this feeling of like, I'm trying to stay present here. I'm trying to work things out. I mean, you could also be their ex. Okay. Regrets marrying the person they are with. And for some of you, yes, they could be married here. They could be engaged. They could be in a serious commitment here. There's a lot of five of the five of cups here is about regrets, guilt, um, remorse, uh, feeling hopeless, you know, they maybe for some of you, this person might feel like I can never leave here. I'm stuck here. This is crazy. Mm, okay. Underneath the deck, we have secret identity and it says lives a double life. Fake real life persona, deep seated fears, self hatred. Difficulty in expressing oneself due to fears of and rejection. So maybe for somebody, this person has made you feel like they were kind of living this whole double life, you know, with this person, with you. For some of you, it could even be this person kind of keeping up this connection. Um, Keeping up this connection over here and not really letting family or friends know, like, what's really going on here with this. You know? Keeping, I feel like, everything a secret over here. Okay. 
we have the runner here fear of intimacy running away intensity and letting go turmoil and fleeting we have commitment here their vows promises and fidelity and also limbo which is this hangman here void non-existent wow We have shifting here, a change of perspective, attitude, and outlook. You know, they might be looking at this person differently, like I said, and trying to just see. We've got significant here, vital importance and depth, seeing the value that this person does hold in their life. Okay. But of course, we can't also ignore the fact that this person also has feelings towards you. We have peace here, balance, harmony, and friendship with this person. So it could be that I don't know. It kind of makes me feel like this person here doesn't really let this other person know, the third party know exactly what's in their heart and what they're thinking and what they're feeling. You know, they're taking this whole commitment or, like I said, marriage into consideration. Um, trying to, like I said, trying to restore balance here. Almost like this person is trying to give this situation another chance, looking at what the importance of it here who this person is to them in their life, you know, and of course grief or, or guilt could be something that makes this person change, you know, to think like, okay, what are you doing? You know, you have this over here with this person, this third party. Hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to ask Spirit here, what is your advice on this whole situation? Okay, I know from doing so many of these readings, not only for, you know, you guys here as pick a cards, but a lot of my private reading clients, more than you would ever believe, are in third party situations. So this dynamic here is not out of um, the ordinary. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's pull some tarot. And we're going to ask Spirit, what should you do? Okay, what is your advice here on this connection? What is your advice on this connection? With this person what is your advice we have the five of swords we have the magician we have the hierophant What is your advice? Four of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel like with this situation, okay, that you've got going on with this person, I feel like Spirit's showing you here that if this person is someone who is married or in a serious committed relationship, you know, you need to be better about setting boundaries with that and, and not try to keep pushing with, you know, where you, to the point where you end up getting hurt. Okay. Um, because with the five of swords energy here, this is about being, of course you, you're probably angry, you know, you're hurt. With the Five of Swords energy here. The Five of Swords is when we are a victim to someone's mistreatment. Um, hurtful behavior, hurtful words. Um, 
And I feel like with the Four of Cups energy here, if this person is choosing to reject you, choosing to shut you out, choosing to push you away, don't let this person come back in unless they are completely sure they've got it figured out. Okay? If they are still involved with somebody else, the Seven of Wands is about you standing your ground with what you truly want for yourself. That is where you need to focus your intention. Okay. If it's a serious commitment that you want, you know, serious relationship, and this person is, you know, kind of cutting you off and then going to the other person and then coming back in, you need to be better about setting boundaries here. Okay. If, especially if this person tries to continue to keep you in this whole third party situation. There's a need for you to really work on building up your confidence, learning to say no, okay? I'm not going to be a part of your whole third party situation. Figure your stuff out, okay? Um, yeah, I, I feel like, you know, letting this person back in until they've actually made the decision to leave for good, be done with, resolve, all cut ties with the other person. You have to be really strong here and not give in, right? Not give in. Set stronger boundaries, I'm definitely feeling, um, is what Spirit is asking you to do here, okay? What is your advice on this connection? We have soul purpose here. And it says, this is a connection or relationship which is connected to your soul purpose. This situation is a catalyst in your spiritual evolution. Rejoice and be heartened by this realization that you are fulfilling your destiny. If you have met heartache, know that you will heal as you have grown. Simply know that you met for a reason, even if for a season, because... For some of you, this pain, this heartache that you've been dealing with, dealing with the situation is something that is helping you to align with what your soul's mission is here, right? Even though this might be a really painful experience, you're growing from it. You're healing from it. And it could be very, I feel like, important. For some of you, it could even be starting you, catalyzing healing for you, you know, you go through this experience and experience pain and hurt and betrayal, but then yet it might be the most impactful relationship that you've ever had in your life that for some of you has made you hit kind of like your rock bottom with pain and suffering and you can only move up from there, right? Once you go through something like this and feel hurt, feel betrayed, victimized by somebody's cruelty or mistreatment or, you know, them not taking you seriously, um, it can really be something that catalyzes a lot of profound spiritual growth for you um, that is necessary. So this is, in a way, Spirit is saying that even though, you know, it's, it, you may have, this person may only be in your life for a short period of time. They could really be that one that has the most profound impact on you in terms of your healing, your growth, your soul's evolution. So know that you've met this person for a very important reason. You've learned through this experience. Like I said, some of you may be really learning how to stand up for yourself and to set some strong boundaries of people. You know, really work towards rebuilding yourself. If somebody is rejecting you, maybe for some of you, this is learning about your self-worth. Okay? Learning about your value. Not trying to convince somebody that you're worth choosing or that you're worth loving. But for you to learn to love yourself enough to walk away from somebody who is making you feel like an option. Or who is you know, keeping you kind of strung along in a whole third party situation, because I will tell you right now, you are above that. Okay, I don't care who you are, you are above being somebody's option, you deserve 
more than that. You're worthy of more than that. And you have to know that with inside of yourself, feel it, know it, and maybe work towards changing certain beliefs that you have that make you feel like you are deserving of less than that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave this here for you. Pile number two. I do hope this is helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pal three. So those of you that resonated with this uh, magic stream card, number 18 and this Dalmatian Jasper, this is going to be your reading today. So we're finding out uh, those of you that are in third party situations, we're looking at what your person's feelings and intentions are towards you uh, versus the third party. Okay. So let's actually pull one of these and then we're going to pull the tarot. So what are their feelings and intentions towards you? We have the thinking man. So it does look like this person is trying to really take their time to think about things clearly. I'm feeling a lot of reflection and introspection for this person. Let's see. I feel like this person is also kind of in a place where they're identifying a lot of their fears, a lot of their insecurities, a lot of their doubts. Um, I'm also feeling dealing with any repressed feelings, emotions, kind of bringing them to the surface, illuminating them to think about your connection clearly. Let's see. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? We have the Ten of Swords. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have Justice. We have the Magician. King of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles. Underneath the back deck, we have Six of Swords, Judgment, the Sun, Five of Wands, and the Knight of Cups with the Two of Wands here. Okay. So I am kind of feeling this energy here where this person is kind of distancing themselves from you, um, pulling away because there could be a lot of challenging energies that are coming up. I feel like with uh, conflict, maybe potentially between you and this person, um, it could be an internal struggle, an internal battle that this person is dealing with. And I feel like they're trying in order to make this big decision. Okay. It's kind of like this person feels like I need space and time to think about things clearly here. Thinking about what is going to bring them the most happiness. Is it choosing you? Is it staying with the other person or being with the other person? Um, the five of ones can also talk about competition or even comparison. So they could be in a place where they're comparing you and the other person. Okay. Okay. And I feel like distancing themselves, pulling away from you to think about what is the best choice here. I feel like this person has been going over this in their mind to the point where they are wearing themselves out mentally, trying to focus, trying to, you know, think about everything here. Um, the Six of Pentacles is about reciprocating energy, keeping things balanced, right? Um, equal give and take in a partnership here. Um I do feel like this person is, you know, right at this crossroads here with your connection, with coming forth and revealing their heart, their feelings to you, giving you some type of offer here is what the choice is, right? To pursue love here. There is interest that's here. 
Okay, this person does think about manifesting connection with you. Um, giving this connection, I feel like the justice that is that it deserves, meaning going all in, right? To see something through. Being honest. Giving you clear answers here. And I feel like this person is considering, right, the, the whole coming forward here and reciprocating the energy that you are willing to give in here. Um, it does, like I said, it, it's a big decision here with judgment. And I feel like this person definitely feels torn, okay? Having to compare your connection with what they've got, say, on the other side here. And that is kind of where that struggle is because they might feel bad. I'm seeing the five of cups here. They might feel bad on both sides. Like if I leave the other person, I'm going to feel, will I feel guilty? Will I have regrets? And if I leave pile number three, am I going to be feeling that same way? So it's a lot of, I feel like challenging feelings, emotions um, that this person is dealing with. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys. I think my husband's vacuuming. Um, I'm going to hold off for a second. I'm feeling that this person is someone who also puts their head over their heart. Um, and In them doing this, I feel like it's because this person is trying to act from a place of honesty, of integrity, as they are making a decision here. Um, wanting to make sure they think about everything that's involved. to feel more confident, more comfortable in the decision that they're making. I do feel, like I said earlier, with the magician energy here, this person is thinking a lot about where they're focusing their intention and I just feel like this person with this whole internal struggle here with with the choices here the five of cups like i said the five of wands could be a lot of this inner battle with their feelings their desires again what is going to make them feel the happiest here you know wanting to things i feel like to kind of just sit well and confident in whatever choice they are making here. I want to uh, look at this card a little bit, the thinking man. I do want to clarify that just a little bit before we start pulling the other Oracle cards. So what is this thinking man? Pile three, the thinking man, and then we have the strength card, which is about confidence, facing your fears, the page of swords, and the seven of swords. Yeah, so this person, it's almost like their head is all over the place, okay, all over the place. Fears, insecurities. I feel like this person is taking time to really look at what their fears are. What is holding them back from, you know, facing it, taking decisive action, being comfortable with making that decision. They might feel like they need more information you know, before making that decision. Am I really making the right choice here? Um, let's pull some Oracle now. Let's see. Uh, pile number three. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? Okay. 
what are their feelings and intentions? We've got mental conflicts here. And it says, allows past relationships to dictate or predict how current relationship would be. Okay. So I don't know what's going on with, you know, between this person and the third party. But if they are, what, what this means to me is that they are comparing what has happened between them and the other person. And of course, that could be something that's kind of feeding into the fears of what might be happening over here. You know, like, let's just say that what they've got going on with the third party is not so great. And there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of, you know, fights and arguments and toxicity and stuff like that. They might be thinking, well, if I choose over here, is it going to be any better? You know, allows their past relationships to dictate or predict how their current relationship will be. Okay. So maybe certain things, certain traumas, certain things like that, that they've gone through in connections outside of what you have going on with them that is conflicting with what they're feeling here. Okay. Let's see. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? We've got social addict here. And it says wants to constantly hang out with peers or make excuses to see others besides their partner. Cancels play at plans in favors of others. You know, and they may be somebody who is, you know, playing games online or, or just kind of. Um, it makes me kind of feel like this person could be. Literally canceling plans with you, making plans, canceling plans, um, not making you a priority. Let's see here. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? We have benching. I think, I feel like every single pile got this card today. It says, like someone enough to keep spending time with them, but not enough to commit. Asks others out when it's convenient. So is this person only talking to you, maybe online for some of you, um, when they're only when they're bored? Only when... Because this almost makes me feel like they're a person who's saving something, holding on to something, but you know, in a way kind of it very, this card very much makes me feel like a person who's using it, keeping you as an option, you know, wants to know you're there. Um, for some of you, this person could be avoiding talking to you right now. Okay. As well. Um, we have more salty than sweet and it says pretends to be nice, charming, overly compliments, controlling, a suck up and it says hiding something extremely jealous or also being insincere. Okay. So they could very well be somebody who's jealous or hiding something. Hmm. What are their feelings and intentions? We also have scrutinizes here and it says criticizes what others do. A hypocrite judgmental finds multiple faults in their partner tears down others self-esteem so because they could be somebody who's unsure about what they're doing you know they could be somebody who scrutinizes your connection um or they may feel that you might be doing that okay so take it how it resonates um if it doesn't if it doesn't fit don't force it to okay Let's see, pile number three, what are their feelings and intentions towards you? We have Cupid's arrow here. It says, have faith, love is coming, a surprise invitation, also being struck by love. We have the chaser here, fear of abandonment, chasing codependencies. 
We have a fresh start, a chance, beginnings, and a new direction. We also have a long journey here. Some of you, this kind of makes me feel like you have like an off and on, maybe for some of you, rebound type of situation. We've got competition here, the other woman. We also have secret admirer here with timid. Long journey, depletion, exhaustion, and fatigue. Pull two more here. Feelings and intentions towards you. Okay. So we have why. It says puzzled, confusion, and being unclear. And then we also have poker face here, taking a chance, risks and options, not showing their hand, and also gambling here. So we've got gambling here with another chance, potentially with this other person. For some of you with the struck by love here, they could be struck by love with, of course, this other person over here. We have chance, beginnings, new direction. I just still feel like there's this heavy influence here of another person here. Feeling confused about what to do. Are they, you know, not knowing if they should take the risk here? Hmm. For some of you, this person could also be holding back a lot of their feelings here towards you, not saying anything, hiding them, especially with that King of Swords energy that was under here. Some of you might be the person who's chasing or pursuing them. Of course, it could be the complete opposite where they, you know, pursue you, chase you. I do feel like I said this person wants to come forward here and talk to you about their feelings. They may have been avoiding it, running away from it, concealing it, hiding it. For some of you, I'm also feeling denial here, okay? Okay, let's look at what they are feeling and intentions towards the other person. Okay, the other person involved here. Let's see what is going on over there. And we're going to pull another card for, we're going to save your crystal over here. But we're going to see how are they, what are their feelings and intentions towards the third party. What are their feelings and intentions towards the third party? Rescue. Rescue. What are their feelings and intentions? Okay, so we have two come out here. We've got action, and then we also have the seventh chakra, which is the crown chakra. This almost makes me feel like this person is feeling the need to, I don't know, save this connection with rescue here, go back to them. Before I even started recording your reading, when I was just kind of doing the pre-shuffle, there was a card that came out that said rebound. And maybe for some of you, you're in that situation where this person could have been rebounding 
with you from this person, you know, using you kind of like as that rebound or I mean, it could be vice versa. Let's see here. What are their feelings and intentions toward the third party? We have the Hierophant. The Nine of Pentacles. We have the Moon. Oh, again, I, it makes me feel like this person doesn't know what they're doing. The Seven of Swords. The Magician. It kind of makes me feel like this person is one foot in, one foot out with this person over here. One foot in, one foot out. And I'm seeing the King of Swords again at the bottom. Yeah, it makes me feel like with this person over here, they're hiding a lot of what they really feel. And I feel like what they really feel is that they really don't want to be here. But there's something that, I don't know, maybe this other third party over here is like kind of manipulating this person into coming back. Like, let's fix this. Let's resolve this. And this person just kind of goes right back into it. But it makes me feel like this person, part of them, like doesn't even want to be here. They may feel bad for like leaving them or, you know, guilted, I feel like, into it. But I feel like ultimately this person, I feel like, wants to be single. Um, I feel like they're not really revealing exactly what their plan is with this person over here they might have them believing one thing but then kind of feeling something else completely different let's see what are their feelings it makes me also feel like this person is is also detached from this third party like emotionally detached from this person already. Like secretly inside, they feel like I want to be single, you know, I'd rather be single. What are their feelings and intentions towards this third party? We have strings attached. And it says, accepts relationships with stipulations, makes other sign a contract or follows their rules, dictates others' actions or mannerisms. So maybe there's something that they're holding on to this person for. Maybe, I don't know, maybe for some of you it's, it's like for financial reasons or because of family or because of culture or religion or, you know, something... Hmm, let's see. What are their feelings and intentions towards the third party? We have hype here. And it says, talks about it, but doesn't be about it. A liar. Talks a big game, but does not follow through. A big flirt or even the player mentality. You know? So it also makes me feel like this person is not even being honest with this person over here. The Seven of Swords is here, which can also be an energy of deception, you know, trickery. Maybe they could be using this person to get something they want or because there are strings here, strings attached. What are their feelings and intentions towards the... We have Solitary here. It says prefers to be alone and in one's thoughts, individualist, deep contemplation without interference from others and isolation. And we have moving forward, uses the past as a way to heal and prevents past traumas from intervening in connection or feelings. 
So, and then I'm also seeing trust issues at the bottom. It says accusatory, does not trust others, keeps one others at arm's length, starts arguments with little provocation, rude and condescending. So they may, this, mm, the connection over here might be something that's mm, maybe toxic. Okay. Maybe where there is manipulating into staying or, but again, I'm really feeling like this person has plans of wanting to leave, wanting to get out, but. And maybe using the situation to their advantage in some way. I don't know. Um, let's see. What are their feelings and intentions towards the third party? Okay. So we have debating here. Contemplation. Thinking it over. We have being at the crossroads with which direction to go. It says this way, that way, the other way. Um, we have sunglasses here, watching, looking, perception, and stalking. And then we have pursuit here, the chase, a mission, a victory. With trust here, loyalty, reliability, and devotion. We have blocked emotions, clutter, heart fog, mixed signals that they could probably be giving to this other person over here. We have marriage and a sacred union. So maybe for some of you, this person is married to this person. Look what's at the bottom. Karmic relationship, resentments and triggers, perception, intensity and letting go, turmoil and also fleeting. So maybe when things get too difficult over here with this, this person kind of pulls away, runs away, escapes, you know, from this. They could be very well married to this person. I do feel like there might be trust issues that are here. I feel like there's attachment here to this person. Afraid of letting this person go. I feel like they're afraid of losing this person. If it is a karmic relationship between them and this person over here, karmic relationships are not easy, you know, to just be done with and let go of. They can be pretty challenging for people to separate themselves, to get themselves out of a karmic cycle with somebody, you know, as much as they don't want to be in it. I feel like it's hard for them to take action towards actually following through with actually leaving. Okay. The connection they have with this person could be something that is very triggering um, very toxic, you know, even if it is a marriage or any other type of just a commitment that they're with, with this person. But yeah, like I said, it definitely makes me feel like this person is a little detached, um, from their heart space here with this person. Okay. I want to clarify this action here to see what kind of action they're trying to take towards this person. It feels like leaving, getting out of it. What is the action here? The Knight of Wands. That is action. Six of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. If they are married to this person. Oh yeah, look at that. The devil is here. With the Ace of Cups. I feel for some of you, this person feels stuck over here, stuck in this, uh, connection with this person. And I feel like there is a decision here with the two of swords. This is them having conflicting thoughts or ideas, feeling indecisive, confused about whether or not to pursue new love and that new love, of course, being with you. Hmm. You know, I mean, this person, if they are someone who is kind of going back and forth here, that whole back and forth thing is like trying to fix it, trying to resolve it, trying to renew it. 
But again, it's kind of like this person doesn't feel like they're like all in here. You know, more or less it's because of maybe some type of manipulation or feeling guilted into staying for some of you, I feel like. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we are going to ask Spirit for advice for you, okay? What to do um, in this situation with this person? Like, are you, should you let go? Hold on to this? Their whole third party thing? Let's see. And of course, this is always your decision, you know, whatever it is that you choose as you see best for you, given what the circumstances are. What is your, what, what I just saw something that shouldn't have been in there. So what is your advice, Pile 3? What is your advice? The Ten of Pentacles, the High Priestess. Ace of Pentacles. The Two of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what basically what Spirit's saying here is that as much as you want, you know, to be and have an opportunity to be with this person and have a solid long-term relationship and a commitment, if this person is in a marriage and they're already married to somebody else, you know, this person very well cannot give you what you're truly deserving of, okay? And I feel like your intuition is telling you that with the high priestess here. The six of pentacles in reverse is an imbalance in a relationship, meaning that there is not equal give and take in this partnership between you and the other person. You are someone who is deserving of someone who's going to reciprocate the energy that you are giving here. And if this person is married to someone else in a long-term relationship with someone else, Yes, ultimately, it is their decision to leave and be done with the other person if that's what they choose. But until that point, you know, with the Six of Pentacles energy in reverse, this is one-sided. Okay? And a one-sided connection does not work. It is not balanced. So you can't continue to give and give and give to this person if you're not receiving what you're deserving of receiving in return. Okay? So I feel like with the high priestess energy here, this is really spirit wanting you to take some time to really reflect within your own intuition. And I feel like your intuition is telling you just that. This is not a balanced connection. You're deserving of more. Okay. Let's see. Let's pull one of these. What is your advice here? We have interference. And it says, there is energetic meddling occurring in this situation. Someone is projecting opinions or weighing in on the situation and causing confusion. The ability to distinguish between good advice and manipulation is necessary for the party you are inquiring about. They need to listen to their own truth. Okay? So the person that you're dealing with here needs to listen to what their own heart is telling them. Their own intuition not hearing it from you, not hearing it from another person, not hearing it from their family. They need to be able to make this decision for themselves, okay? If in their marriage or in their relationship, they're feeling like they're not really also getting what they truly want and what they truly deserve, they have a choice to make. And their intuition could be leading them towards that choice. But if there's somebody who is thinking, again, in that King of Swords energy, where it's very just logic and no connection to the heart space and their own intuition, they might miss the mark, right? So there's something here energetically that's interfering with this person's 
intuition here. And until they actually get it, they cannot give you what you're truly deserving of. Okay. So of course you have to make a choice for yourself there, but this is basically spirit wanting you to see that until this person actively reciprocates the energy that you are putting in, it is one sided and connections don't work that way, right? It ends up leading you into a place of heartache, of disappointment, of, of feeling let down, you know, trying to hold out hope for somebody who could be giving you false hope with you ending up in a serious long-term relationship here. So there is something that's interfering here is what Spirit's saying. You need to do what's, of course, what's best for you by listening to your own intuition. And I feel like it is, you know, that if you're truly wanting something serious long-term, then maybe this is focusing on, for some of you, letting go. Okay? Or setting some boundaries here. But yeah, this is Spirit saying here, this person needs to listen to their own truth. Okay? All right. So I'm going to leave this here for you. Pile number three. I do hope this was helpful for you guys. And I will see you in the next reading.